Rotting Acres. All right. So the little banner ad there, that's actually something that um, a fan made, a uh, fan, uh, Pascal Schneider. So I have to thank him because that's really funny, actually. Um, I do plan on trying to sell advertising space there to help support the channel. So that's just, a, I thought, a pretty funny example of what could go there. So uh, thank you, Pascal, for that uh, interesting banner ad. Um, anyways, we are... Did I not save it? That's not right. Hold on. I swear I saved it. I don't know what happened. Huh. What the hell? Well, that's no good. It's just one thing after another with this <laughs> with this damn series. Use auto save me. Did I save it to the wrong one? Hold on, let me see what that other one is. What's the date here? Seven eight. Yeah, let's try auto save. I don't I don't think I have the auto save set though. No, cuz this is a very old version of the mall. Well, shit, guys. Rot that's I'm going to that's what I'm going to check next. That was one that I had created when I was doing um some experimenting way back when, but I have a feeling this is just going to be really old too. Yeah, that's just an older version of them all. Well, I know I know what caused the problem last time. So, um, damn it! This this mall tycoon software has not been the most reliable software in the world. So. Because what killed it last time, it, <clears throat> it turns out, was the um, improvements to the uh, food court. Because I had expanded the food court into this area, and I what had happened was I blocked the doors off with the tables. So that was the problem. Well, there, now auto saves on. Well, here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, <laughs> well, I do, I do wanna, I, f I freaking forget everything else. I know that we expanded the food court. Like, that's the last thing I remember doing, is expanding the food court. So, I'm gonna do that. I know we got rid of, what was it? Was the jewelry store or something? There was something over here we got rid of. Right, we moved this upstairs. We kept the candy store. What is the? This is a food place, right? Yeah, that's Panda. We got rid of Lens Crafters. Okay. Yeah, the Regis we moved upstairs because that's the only. I think that's the only salon we have. So, anyways, guys, we're just gonna do it again. <laughs> okay. We'll just hang out a little bit longer tonight. We'll make it a long stream and see what happens. We got a lot to talk about. Toys R Us closed, although, well, they didn't close, but Toys R Us is closing. That's depressing. All right, let's move this Regis real quick. Gone. And I know we have space upstairs for one somewhere. Let's see. 
Where can we, where can we stick a Regis? <clears throat> Allentown store is liquidating next week. Yeah, the I if you haven't seen the video yet, I, I just did a video on um on one that was like there was one of the ones that was announced that was closing, one of the original 180 stores that was closing. Um I went to one of those that's in Scottsdale, Arizona and filmed that. And uh that was interesting because I actually was there the night before they made the announcement that they were doing the um chapter seven bankruptcy, like the you know, shutting everything down. So that was that was interesting. Are we stuck hold on. Eh, screw it. That'll work. All right. Um, anyways, yeah. So, are we gaining customers? Yeah, that's. I'm gonna see if I can recreate the conditions that that caused that to happen. Because what what's interesting about that is people pointed out what caused the customer crash was putting the tables like right up to the doors. Because when you put something in a square, that occupies the square. So it was it was blocking the. Uh, Blocking the doors, I guess, and but the, that's the thing that those weren't the only doors to the mall, so I don't know. We'll see. Where is the hair salon? Is that under apparel? Is it under miscellaneous? What is that? Oh, perfume. Do we have a Perfumania? I forget. We gotta add one of those. But first, let's fix the food court. Yeah, it's under services. Why am I missing? It's right there in front of my face. All right, so there's that. I think that's the same. I don't. I don't really know what a Regis looks like, so I'm just gonna leave the uh, leave the the front of the store. But there, now we have a Regis again. And then we got, we just flat out got rid of the lens crafters. I remember that because I don't think it has any sales. Okay, where's the. Okay, so there's that. And then this is the lens crafters, right? Right here? Yeah. Whoops. I meant to click the bulldozer. There we go. Okay, so we want to put a Del Taco in. I know that. So we want stores, the small store. Oh, no, I just have to pick a thing, don't I? Um, I think we just did fast food for Del Taco. Sears is distracting the economic Grim Reaper with the longest lap dance. That's fantastic. That's one of the things that's super shocking to me is that um, Sears is going to outlast Toys R Us. That's that's absolutely wild to me. Uh, when I did my, my first video on Toys R Us, I think it was back in September, I didn't... I didn't know, you know, I wasn't aware that Toys R Us was in such dire straits, so I did that video and uh, right after I did it, that was like a Del Taco, right? That'll work. Uh, right after I did that video, they filed for Chapter 11, and I was like, holy crap. Yeah, Sears and Kmart's gonna outlast Toys R Us. That's amazing to me. I was like, wow, that that's amazing. And then all now it's not that it's not even a year later, and they're doing Chapter 7 and, and shutting the whole thing down, and that's just amazing to me. That was quick. In auditing class, you had to do a report on Sears. I can only imagine how hilarious that would have been. Um, does anybody remember what the other thing was we put in the food court? Like what we put in place of the... Uh... It wasn't Subway, was it? Did we put a sandwich place in? You know, I haven't seen the Company Man video on uh, on Toys R Us. I need, to, I need to watch that. A lot of people have pointed that out to me. Whataburger, that's right, okay.
What a burger. And I like water burger, so. We'll give them a break. Ah, good enough. Okay. So now I want to extend this tile floor. I, you know, I have mixed feelings about Sears because I actually have a lot of um, childhood memories of Sears, like especially the the Funtronics counter. <laughs> we spent a lot of time there because my parents did a lot of shopping at Sears. Sears was one of those, you know, one stop you could get whatever you needed there, to, except for groceries type places. So, um, and we got our like family pictures taken there at the Sears Portrait Studio, all that stuff. So. I spent a lot of time at the the Funtronics counter because when I got a little bit older, my mom would let me hang out there and play the uh, demo units while she was doing whatever it is she needed to do at the Sears. So um, I'm gonna miss Sears in that respect, but you know the Funtronics counter has been gone for a long time. So it's unfortunate. Extend this. So yeah, what I did last time, I guess, is I blocked the doors with tables. What kind of tables did we use? I forget which ones they are. That's under mall decor. Oh, wait, they're there. Ah. So I think I put, yeah, I think I, do I have to click each time? Cause that sucks. Look, I built, I built tables on top of them. Oh, I forgot that you can do that too. That you can click on some of the customers and, and see like what they're doing. You bought a Virtual Boy at Sears? I rented a Virtual Boy from Blockbuster when I was a kid. Like, me and a friend rented one one night. And we kind of knew it was awful right away. Oh, I wonder if I blocked the elevator too. I bet I blocked the elevator. Can I can I drag? No. You know, I I have a 32x now, and I actually really enjoy it. Um, but I funny enough, I I got it recently. Which sucks because I so I bought mine. I have one complete in box, the Sega 32X, and I I forget exactly what I paid for it, but it, it was somewhere in like the hundred and fifty dollar ballpark, for, you know, for a complete in box, and it had everything they, that stupid cable that you need and all that stuff. So um, I have that now, and I enjoy it because there's some cool arcade ports on there, like Space Harrier and Afterburner and stuff like that. But when I was a kid, I remember seeing. Uh, the 32x on clearance at Kmart for like 20 bucks, and um, I kind of regret not not buying it because <laughs> I would have if I had bought it, I probably would still have it, and that would have been a lot cheaper than than what I paid for it now. Anybody else watch Angry Video Game Nerd? There's probably a bunch of people in here that do. Actually, Angry Video Game Nerd is one of the first uh, one of the first YouTube channels I really got into, like way back when, way a long time ago. Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd was one of the first ones that I watched. That's probably enough tables and chairs, right? Was one of the ones I watched consistently, and then I also watched um, Pat the NES Punk quite consistently as well. That was one of the other ones that I discovered. And then um, from there, I started watching. So Pat the NES Punk has a website, The Punk Effect, and he had a bunch of other 
uh, YouTubers featured on there. So I used to, I don't know if anybody will even know this guy, but there's a, a YouTuber. Well, he except for he hasn't done anything. I don't think it forever, but Rue from clan of the gray wolf. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but he did a really cool series called 16 bit gems that I was into, but I don't think he, he hasn't done anything in a long time, but I still go back and watch those old videos. Sometimes they're pretty good. Long time ABGN fan, nine years. Yeah, man, he's been doing it for a long time, a long time. All right, so let's let's let this mall run for a bit and see what happens. Now that we got the food court, up, like okay, so we're busy again right now. But what I wanted to use this episode for, because the last episode, <clears throat> I, I unfortunately didn't save. But, oh, there's that goddamn UFO again. That's somebody said I need to hire Men in Black for that. Um, we had started to get customers back again right at the end of the episode because I think I, I had unblocked the doors. So I think it would have been fine again, really, honestly. But we'll see where this goes. Let's see. One of your employees is blocked. See, this is what I'm talking about. That one of your employees is blocked from his rounds. So I got to figure that out. I think I see him right there. The shopper couldn't get to his destination store, so he left the mall. So yeah, there's things that are blocked. So let's Sears had the most shoppers this month. Holy crap! It's so this is causing a problem right there. Now those guys should be able to return. Toys R Us was the most profitable store this month. Ain't that amazing? There's a Radio Shack still in your town where you live. You know what's fun? Funnily enough, Radio Shack has kind of come back to life. Uh, their Twitter account all of a sudden has started posting stuff. A lot of it's like uh, history, you know, history of Radio Shack. Like they'll feature a, a product or an item. A customer complained that Seize Candies charges too much. Well, Seize Candies is amazing, so deal with it. Um, oh, see, our customer account's starting to drop. This should be interesting. Let's see what it does. Let's go check out what's going on in the atrium. What do we got going on? The dog show? I love the dog show. Del Taco charges too much. Well, Del Taco is amazing. Deal with it. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting to watch. They've been posting, like, history stuff again. And they're trying, it looks like they're trying to build their web presence back up again and be, like, an online retailer, which would be great. Radio Shack is, an, is, is easy it is to rip on Radio Shack and make fun of them. Um, Radio Shack really did look. Our customer account's dropping quite a bit. Um... They filled a niche that, you know, now I don't have any Radio Shacks now where I live. They all closed up. And there's been lots of times where I need something, you know, a, like a coax. This is going to sound stupid, but like a coax to RCA adapter to hook up an Atari 2600. I can't just go to Radio Shack and get one of those. I can I can order one off Amazon, but I got to wait three days. And it'll be cheap as hell from Amazon too, but because it's so cheap, it's not one of those things that I can get it same day or next day unless I'm ordering other stuff and so it, it just sucks that I don't there's not a place to easily run and do that uh, there's another store called Fry's Electronics near here and they're huge and they have all kinds of electronic parts and components but they're not doing well either and spoiler there's probably going to be a video on them eventually so yeah look we've dropped like a hundred customers on average here pretty quickly we've got a lot of money though which was nice and also I want to point out let's look at the mall information for a second <clears throat> we are debt free we don't have any debt right now, which is nice. So let's go back. Now we have empty spots upstairs still. We have a Toys R Us up here, but what else do we? Let's look at our let's look at our mall store list here. We've got oh yeah, we've got the shopdanbell.com store. <laughs> we got Rotting Acres Federal Credit Union, Foot Locker, the Sharker Sharper, the Sharker Image, Sharper Image. Oh, someone's saying, oh, please do fries. Yeah, there will be a Fry's Electronics video. That's another store that I actually have a lot of. I Before they were Fry's Electronics, back when they were Incredible Universe. I remember that. So we got Babbage's, Sam Goody, Seas Candies, Del Taco, GNC. GNC is another one that would be an interesting video, I think. <laughs> Orange Julius. <clears throat> Man, my allergies today. Yeah, we're missing a lot of a lot of mall stuff still, really. We have a Luby's cafeteria. Put in a put in a Bookman's. We're not quite there yet. All right. 
right, so we've got an empty space. Where did I see the empty real estate? Right there. There's an uh, there's empty space for a two slot store right there. Oh, does this not have? No, it's over there. That's right. Why is our little aesthetic fountain area not cleaned up? <clears throat> there's a security robot. We have a TCBY. Forgot about that. Okay. Anyways, got distracted. Back over here. What can we put in here? Do we not have a Bath and Body Works? Let me look. I thought we did. If we don't, we certainly need one. Oh, we have Bed Bath and Beyond. But we don't have Bath and Body Works. Yeah, we need Bath and Body. Do we have a clear? We do have a clears. Okay. Oh, except for I don't think I can build. Oh, and we have zombies in the mall now too. See, it's happening. Our mall has become so trashy. Zombies are invading. It's happening anyways to the mall. That's that's awesome. Okay, well we'll put it here. Bath and Body Works. Quick before something. Before something, uh, no, not that one. Mall gets 50th shop. Now the banner ad makes sense. <laughs> okay. See, I don't think there's like lotions. Let's see here. Maybe services, not glamour shots. No, 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 none of this makes sense. Well, I know like perfume makes sense. I think that's like as close as we're gonna get perfume and then, hmm, what's this? Piercing salon? <laughs> Yeah, none of those make sense. Where was the, um... Not that. Is there, like, candles? <clears throat> Oh, maybe under housewares. Whoa, what's in here? Makeup and bath goods. There we go. But that doesn't really look like a Bath and Body Works, though. Oh, yeah, we do need an Abercrombie of Fitch, too. Bath. It's, it's an ampersand. Oh, can I not do an ampersand? I actually have to type it out. Lame. Do I feel like the writing's on the wall for Toys R Us worldwide? Um, no, I don't think so, actually. Like, for example, I think can the Canadian stores, I think, are getting a bailout from some toy manufacturers. Which makes sense. Um, a lot of the toy manufacturers are crapping their pants now over this because... Uh, I read one analyst who I don't even know if it was an analyst or who it was exactly, but it was it was in a New York Times article. I think that they were predicting that with Toys R Us in the United States going away, that there could be like 15% of toy sales that just disappear forever. Um, the the thing I get a lot of comments on my video, and I'm still getting them on this most recent video for Toys R Us, where people are like, "Oh, it's because kids don't play with toys," and that's honestly that's bullshit. Kids play with toys. My kid plays with toys. All the kids in this neighborhood that I live in play with toys. I go to lots of kids' birthday parties. They play with toys. Um, those stupid fingerling monkey things that were like a huge craze at Christmas time, they're still always a hot toy. The reason Toys R Us is going out of business is because it was ran into the ground by idiots. 
It was bought with, you know, a leverage buyout. I'm trying to find, like, the white wood paneling that a Bath & Body Works would have. I, I think that might actually be the closest we're going to get to it, but then I think I can just change the walls. But it, the way, it, what happened was it was purchased in 2005 with what's called a leverage buyout, which, long story short, is somebody takes out a huge loan to buy Toys R Us and then uses Toys R Us, the company, as the collateral for the loan. Well, they've got $5 billion in debt, and a lot of those loans are you know coming up due, or they've got big balloon payments and service payments. Is there not just, like, white wood paneling? That's like a mall staple, really. Like, if if this was just like this, but that purple was white, like, that would be perfect for Bath & Body Works. And we'll go with that, whatever. Um, yeah, so they're saddled with $5 billion in debt, and that's why they're going under, is because they can't afford to service that debt. They did have a slight dip in sales, but if... If they were a healthy company, they would have survived that that dip. This wouldn't be an issue. All right, so we got our Bath and Body Works. A zombie has changed one of the shoppers. Yeah, something bad. Something bad is. I'm not convinced that it was the uh, the doors being blocked. What's going on downstairs? Is it still looking? I mean, it's still pretty busy down here. But there's like a lot of zombies. And like, what is this guy doing? He's not blocked anymore. Is that a zombie? What is that? This is interesting. Oh, so we can see how much money she has on her. How hungry she is. What they think of the mall. She hates crowds. Oh, she's leaving the mall. There's zombies everywhere. This is interesting. It's like auto-following her all the way through. Hold on, let's find somebody else. She's leaving. The mayor's still calling them all an aesthetic asset, even though it's, I'm seeing more people leaving than... What What is going on? Yeah, something... Okay. It's dying anyways, guys. It didn't matter that it didn't save. The mall's dying anyways. Did Fast Eddie buy Toys R Us? No, if Eddie Lambert had bought Toys R Us, it would probably still be open. <laughs> are those zombies? What are those? Yeah, I saw that the last show. The, it, look, we're losing customers dramatically again. I'm just letting it happen because I'm like so confused. I, I don't know if we just mall call. Yeah, it might be an aesthetic asset, but it's a mess. So it can't be the doors because I didn't block the doors this time. Wait, there's a person right here. What are you doing? There's still people at the movies. Where? So yeah, I'm, I don't think I blocked the, the doors aren't blocked this time, right? Look, there's... Oh, those are the greeters. But we're still having the auto show with the zombies. Oh, now it's this. Perhaps the mayor is a zombie. Yeah, and where's this one customer at? Okay, so what I did last episode when Rotting Acres died... What is all this? Young males. Okay, what I did last time was I fired everybody. Thankfully, we have a lot of money in reserves. 
Okay, so I fired everybody. So now we got nothing but zombies wandering around. Do you think the zombies are driving the ski things? Okay, so now that's going on. Now we hire new security team. We gotta find where people are getting blocked. Okay, we hire all this police. And we'll hire all the greeters. Okay, let's see if we can bring this thing back to life. Where's that one customer? Okay, we gotta start figuring out where people are blocked. Check below the lubies, okay. Where do we put the lubies? Right here, right? Okay. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! What is going on in there? Well, what do... <laughs> so we just put a door there? I don't know what to do with that. Because I need that to hold the lubies up. Okay, let's do this. That is a mess right there. Look at that. Oh, no. What? Really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, hey, guys, the good news is... <laughs> we turned the autosave on. <laughs> I, I Rodding in your small might be dead. That might be the... Let's go see. Let, hold on. <laughs> is it just not... Is, is it just not gonna... Is it just done? <laughs> Oh my god. Hold on. No, it's just not gonna go! What? Well, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for season one of Welcome to Rotting Acres Mall. Oh my god. <laughs> oh that's hilarious well yeah i think that's that's it for for season one it will return trust me i'm gonna get stuff out maybe we'll try Mall tycoon too we'll visit rotting acres mall one last time i'll figure out what's going on and get it reinstalled and everything there'll be one more we'll do we'll do one more episode of rotting acres mall and uh if it's still a pain in the ass we will we will rebuild rotting acres mall will end up maybe facing the same we'll see next episode but uh yeah if that if that's an issue maybe we'll try mall tycoon 2 and maybe we'll build siesta mall we'll see um what's my next video actually that's interesting that you asked that so i just put out a video the other day that the toys r us I actually put out two videos in one day which uh is in retrospect was kind of silly but there's actually a, a, a Dead Mall update video on Metro Center Mall. I filmed some new footage with the new camera there. Um, and then the Toys R Us video came out. There will be a new video next week. Much, much light, more lighthearted. Less, way less depressing. Happier video. Something a little different, uh, but some really cool footage that I got nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, that'll come out next week. Is there going to soon be Rots R Us? 
Oh, I'm still really depressed about Toys R Us, guys. And I'm bummed out. I... What? I don't know why I'm doing this again. It's just going to crash. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, that was an interesting episode, for sure. That was weird. So, yeah, we'll try it one more time, guys, next week. I'll get it, uh, you know. Actually, let's reboot this real quick. Maybe if we reboot it. I just want a little bit of certainty. Like, I want to know. It, did I, I, can't, I can't imagine we, like, hosed, hosed the game. Yeah, I will, I will keep the stream up. I will keep it up. It might be edited. Like, I'll probably edit this boot sequence out. This is like a Windows 90. It is a Windows 98 computer. Yeah, I'm actually um, I'm looking at an old school CRT monitor right now. That's what I'm playing it on. I gotta change that CMOS battery. Yeah, and actually, I think this Dell is from that time period of those commercials. I think that's from the dude you're getting a Dell commercial, like that era of Dells. Yeah, so this machine, part of the problem is this one's actually kind of a bit of a beast to be running Windows 98. Um, this machine, when I got it, had Windows XP on it, and it actually had no problem running that, but... I downgraded it to 98 because I wanted to run stuff like Maltycoon. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hey guys, hey, that's that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Should run on. I installed Windows ME on a computer one time as a joke and ran it for about two days. And, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it should have autosaved too. I saw the autosaving thing scrolling down on the bottom. So, we should be okay. I want to get to the bottom of that if it's really that area that's screwing us up because that looks like a mess in there. We could we could put a store in there and it but it wouldn't the entrance wouldn't face into the mall it would face out but that's okay that happened what what could we put there like what would make sense as a store that would have an out facing door I bought a lot of video games at Toys R Us a lot a lot of Game Boy games at Toys R Us actually. I know what we can put in there. I know what we're going to put in there. But, guys, good news. The game's not not totally hosed. Okay, so I've never used... So if I load this autosave, we should be okay, I think. Yay! All right. Now wait. Where was that spot? Where's the lubies? Where? There's the lubies. Okay. So this spot down here is the friggin' train wreck. Of oh, see, that's the problem though. I can't build anything there because there's shit in there, right? I don't think it's going to let me. Well, let's do this for now. Let's put... Let's see. 
Stream's running long, but I don't care. I'm, I, that, that was freaking me out, man. There. And what can we do with this weird spot? Let's see. Well, let's just let it run. Man, look, there's kids roughing up the arcade games. Um, what if I just start... That's what wrecks it, okay. That's funny. Okay, so if you try, that's what Rex is trying to bulldoze. So that that area is hosed, is what it looks like, huh? All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here. The good news is, Rotting Acres Mall is not completely dead yet. Not dead yet. I can still, but I think once that once the game crashes, I think it it's hosed until we reboot it. And I don't want to go through a reboot again. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So yes, Riding Acres Mall will return next week. I know how to f I know how to fix it. We'll see if we can fix that spot and save it. But Riding Acres Mall, much like Fiesta Mall about a year ago, is highly endangered. Also, if you haven't seen Metro, the Metro Center Mall video update that I just did, check that out as well. That's probably another good analogy for Riding Acres Mall. It does. I don't like. I never like lubies. We might have to take that lubies out. I don't know what we're gonna do because it seems like the minute I try and do anything to that, I mean, I put the door in, but nobody's moving. So we'll see. I'll just figure something out with that area. Building. Yeah, maybe it's building code violations. Literally throwing an illegal operation and crashing the computer. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll have a uh, good night. Uh, Good night from Riding Acres Mall. Hopefully not one of the um, last few good nights. Have a good one.